Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you cutting voltage or potential barrier of PN junction. This cutting voltage or potential barrier that we can easily derive from energy band diagram. So, in my last video, I have explained you how energy band diagram is there with PN junction. If you see that, in that we have seen how much energy band that is happening due to this PN junction. So, here this is what energy band diagram that we have seen, right. In this, if you observe how much band of energy is happening, so this much band of energy is happening and that is happening due to this PN junction and at PN junction there is a potential barrier or you can say cutting voltage that is happening because of this negative and positive ions, right. So, here in this video, I will be deriving how much voltage is happening because of these ions and that is happening because of this energy band. So, if you want to understand how much energy band is happening, then this E will be E1 plus E2, this E will be E1 plus E2, right. And that even I have explained that is Kt ln Pn divided by Ni square. So, that is Kt of ln into Pn divided by Ni square. Now, see from energy, we can understand how to calculate potential. The reason is here we are talking about charge. So, with each electron charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So, if you have energy that is E, right. So, from that we can easily find potential. How? Potential is equals to energy divided by charge or you can say charge into potential that is equals to energy. Let me write that. See, if you want to calculate potential, then potential, let us say that is V naught. So, potential will be how much? Potential will be energy divided by charge. So, here we already know how much energy band is happening. That is Kt ln of Pn divided by Ni square. That will be Kt now divided by Q that I need to have ln P into N divided by Ni square. Right. That is how we can identify potential. But here I am just going to derive this potential in multiple uh, multiple ways. Why the reason is in examination you need to understand this. Sometimes you may not be able to solve problems if you don't know how to convert this into varieties of forms, right. So, here this V naught that is Kt by Q ln of P and divided by Ni square where P is holes concentration in P type, N is electrons concentration in N type and Ni is intrinsic concentration. But sometimes they may not give you data as per this. So, in that situation, we need to make sure to have this formula in some other forms as well. That is quite simple. At last, you will get to know like how to remember it. But first, I need to explain you how it is coming. Right. So, for that, see here what I am going to explain you is here, let us consider we are having Pn junction over here. Right. Now, here I am not going to draw potential barrier and all those things. Still, let us say here we are having potential barrier due to depletion region in which here we will be having negative ions, right. And here we will be having positive ions. And see, here we are having P type material. And here we are having N type material. Now, in P type material, in P type material, we are having, we are having majority charge carriers that is P. So, here I am writing majority. So, that is P. And here, let us say minority, minority is there, that is N dash, right. And with n type let us say majority over here so that is small n that i have written over here and 
minority minority let us say that is p dash right so sometimes if only data is given based on minority and majority like this right then how to convert this so that can be converted in varieties of forms so first what i'll do is i'll be applying mass action law at p side right so let us apply mass action law mass action law at p type so if you apply this then you see what is mass action law pn pn is equals to ni square right so here p into n dash is there p into n dash that is equals to ni square so if you substitute p is equals to ni square by n dash see if you substitute p is equals to ni square by n dash right this in this then what will be your cutting voltage then your cutting voltage that will be v0 that is kt by q into ln now you see we are substituting p is equals to ni square by n dash right so ni square will get cancelled and divided by n dash will be there so n divided by n dash that you will be getting right so v0 that now that will become kt by q into ln of n divided by n dash now see same thing that i'm going to do it for p type so a mass action law now i'm going to apply that for n type so if you apply mass action law at n type then see what is mass action law np is equals to ni square here np dash is there so np dash that is equals to ni square so here what is n n is ni square divided by p dash and see if you substitute this in this cutting voltage then what you will be getting so if you substitute that in cutting voltage then you see what will happen this v naught now that will be kt by q ln of you see this n that is ni square by p dash so ni square will get cancelled so p divided by p dash that will be there so p divided by p dash so your cutting voltage that will be like this so in short if you observe cutting voltage one formula that you can easily remember like this kt by q ln of np divided by ni square and what is second formula you see kt by q ln of n divided by n dash and kt by q ln of p divided by p dash n divided by n dash means what n divided by n dash means you see n is majority charge carrier of n but n dash is minority charge carrier of p here p is majority charge carrier of p and p dash is minority charge carrier of n so here in total in total you can say cutting voltage that is kt by q ln of majority majority of one side divided by minority of other side right that is how we can we can understand this right so simply this is how we can we can make sure to substitute values kt by q ln of majority of one side divided by minority of other side see this is how also we can remember this and we can solve problems but what i have seen is like students thinks like they will have to remember formulas we, here i have derived it to make sure you can understand all those things right otherwise i would have directly written those formulas and you i would have told you like just remember this but i think once you see that you can easily remember things in easier way right so this cutting voltage or potential barrier that is kt by q ln of np divided by ni square that is one way second is kt by q ln of majority of one side divided by minority of other side see this is how also we can understand this and we can solve problems i hope you have understood this till if anything that you would like to share 
please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video